So let's see. Off the top of my head, the things I need to work on. Dodging. What else do I, can I think that I need to do? I need to remember to sharpen my weapon. Here. Paw tracks. Hmm. Look at those Kestodon. Something's up there. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Oh god. Now, now. That's how I feel after like a a really good buffet. <laughs> All right, partner. New assignment incoming. Take down that great Jagras. If you're not ready, you can return to base and take on the great Jagras quest later. Want to get going? Oh, no, no, no. We can do this now. I believe your weapon is losing its sharpness. Create some distance, then use a whetstone. If you need to call your friends for help, go to the menu and select SOS Flare to signal them. And you're going to need friends when you go up against some of the tougher monsters. In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, we need to keep finding traces of it. Like footprints, for example. Good. You're turning up a lot of clues. Uh. Oh, my OCD. Getting me. I want to explore everything. <laughs> Mushrooms. I like how I sniff everything. Good marks. I'm okay. a scientist. We've tracked the great Jaguars hunter. enough for the scout flies to lead us to it. I gotta remember that I can like I can slide into a jump. I think into another dodge. Yep. Nature collecting. <laughs> so good. Less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. Ah, okay. Collect all his footprints. Like to be thorough. Oh man. Got a lot to learn. You can use that as slinger ammo. Great for getting a monster's attention or creating a distraction. Okay, that's just what I was about to think about. Okay, he's pissed. I can put you down. Has two forms, axe and sword. You can power up the sword attacks by inventing them with file in. Alright. The monsters are running coming away, into my the own. scout flies as a guide and they'll lead you right to them. If you're clever, you can use the slinger to distract monsters. Yeah! yeah. You've mounted the monster. Now's your chance to topple it. Alright. Take this. Can I move? Yeah! Right in the face. Oh god. Attack. Brace. Take this! Mm. Yeah! Okay, it's down. Now's your chance to get in there and tear it up. Tear it up. Oh, did I miss? Yep. <laughs> that was awesome. 
This is why we play these games. Dodge their attacks. You don't want to take hits like that head on. Look out! Your health is low. Keep your distance and use a potion. Oh wait. Oh boy. That's health. That monster's really bad now. Be ready for some vicious attacks. Running. You Winning that fight. Come back. Ammo. It's good for staggering monsters. Where are you going? Hmm. <laughs> um, I need to use all the things. Okay. Oh, there he is. Oh, that was like a direct hit. Is he tired? Okay, the monster's tired. Now's your chance to do some serious damage. All right, I'm learning. Let me finish this. You let me finish this, you. Yeah. Went this way. Horrible with maps. Good. Oh no, he ate someone. Hit the high ground. Oh, that was a clean jump. Look, the monster's almost done for. Chances are it'll retreat to its nest to recuperate. That's a piercing pot, a powerful type of slinger ammo. That's able to pierce the thick shell of monsters. I'll get him. You. Damn, great Jagras. There we go. On your tail. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Pretty fun. <laughs> Did a good job. Watch his loot. Oh, I'm going to be doing a lot of looting. A whole lot of looting in this game. Why is my... thing... Oh, was I supposed to... hack this? Oh, well. Got a lead. Hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out.
Oh, it's on. Uh, T-Rex. Hey. Oh. <laughs> that thing. Pookay Pookay. Well, you were right. There's our mark. Something's got him agitated. <laughs> Look over there. What in the heck is that? I've never seen anything like it. You think it's from Zora Magdaros? I'd like to find out. But we better report back first. All right? Pretty good. Okay, what did I get? Jagger scales, main hide, iron ore, armor, ancient bone, monster, cast on scale. Okay. I don't think anything too fancy. Report to the ecological research team. Nice. Artemis is almost level four. Do two star missions. Very nice. I see. So you think you found something that'll lead us to Zora Magdros? Well, I'll send some reachers out right now. But now with the pissed off Puke Puke uh -huh. hanging around. Puke Puke territory. That's pretty deep in the forest. We'll be better equipped to take it on. Once our team from the research center is done rebuilding the forest camp. Once it's ready, we Why make our going? move. Till then, we do everything we can to help them get the camp up and running. Let's get to it. Okay. Once the camp is set up, you can go after that Puke Puke. Hmm. I wonder where the resource center is. Ah. Is it that one or... No, that's provision. I should stop. Oh, you are too good to me. <laughs> well, Fiver, is it true you're going to help us rebuild the camp? That's excellent news. Hope you're as good as they say you are. If so, we'll be... We'll have plenty of work for you. After all the commission studies... Lots of things, not just the Elder Dragon you came here with. Maintaining and improving the base is a full plate of task in itself. Can't study anything without proper HQ, after all. Resource Center here is in charge of di uh, divvying up all that work and making <laughs> sure it gets done. But back to business. Your job is to establish a camp. Go on an expedition to the ancient forest to find a viable campsite. Make sure it's safe. If any monsters have decided to do any camping in your spot, you'll need Don't to chase them off. Down. Got it? The bounties for establishing the camp. Okay. The resource center oversees the research requests and manages the resource required for the investigations. To do bounties, you need to register beforehand. Whereas delivery requests can be completed, completed just by handing in items. When you unlock investigations during quests and expeditions, check in with the resource center to make them available as special quests. You can view the resource center information at any time from the start menu under resource center. Okay. Okay, so bounties are missions you complete over the course of your quests, expeditions. First, check the critical bounties. Like a registered bounty, you can take on multiple bounties at once. Most bounties will reward you with armor, spears, and research points. Once you've completed the bounty, jump by the resource center to collect your reward. Registered bounties, you can select up to six of these from the list to accept. This list is updated when you turn from a quest or expedition, so check back frequently. Critical bounties. These bounties unlock new facilities or upgrade existing ones and are accepted automatically. They can be completed in parallel with your with your registered bounties and with one another. Limited bounties. These quests are offered periodically to online users around the world and are available for a limited time only. When the next limited bounty is released, it will overwrite the previous one. If you want to complete them all, be sure to keep an eye on the expiration date. Okay. I think I got it. Main takeaway is armor cores. That one will happen as I do it. Limited yet. Okay, 
Let's get this expedition underway. You heard her, my shooting game. stars. We need to secure that campsite. Now go for the glory of the commission. Take care of that, and all her worries shall be evaporate. New limited bounty is here. Hunt, uh, Hulu Yaku. Okay, that one. Oh. Ooh, gold wyvarian print and a golden egg. Oh, these are like my weeklies. You can on an expedition just I get it. The gate. Or you can use the world map. Whatever's easiest for you. Okay. Got you. Making sense. Yeah. I'm understanding. Success isn't just about execution. It's mostly about preparation. Lucky for you, that's where I excel. Oh, he registers. Or is it okay? He just. I'm guessing any one of them? The raw resource? Okay, so three people do the job of one one thing. Alright. Good to see you. Ah, oh, Hunter, since you've established yourself as a reliable presence here, I'd like you to make make a make a little request. When investigating large monsters, you can either slay or capture them. Naturally, both have their uh, scientific merits, but frankly. Well, it would be better for our long-term research to receive a live specimen that we can later return to the wild. So if you capture your quarry alive, you will be commended for it and receive greater rewards, commission rules. How about it? Capture your targets instead of slaying them, and you'll be making a great contribution to our efforts here. Alright. So I don't have to kill everything. Yes. Come back to me. A hunter from the fifth, are you? You must have finished your first quest. This is the ecological research headed up by yours truly. Tell me, did you find any monster data out there? Tracks, caches, that sort of thing? Data tells us a story about the monsters, an elaborate and interesting one at that. Your job in the field team is to track the monsters, collect data, and advance the study. Our job is to take that data, analyze it, compile our findings for the commission. What we learn helps you out in the field too, so... <clears throat> so you see, we need each other. Drop by here anytime, and I'll show you what we're working on. What is it? Cool. Alright. Uh, ecological research is a facility that studies monsters. Their studies can help you with your hunts and investigations. Gathering monster tracks and the like will earn your research points. Collect enough and your research level will go up, giving you access to new features and intel that will make your hunts easier. You can also consult a monster field guide to view monster info, such as habitat, weakness, and materials that could be carved. Research levels do not increase automatically. When you see the report to the ecological research team on the res results screen, be sure to pay them a visit. Uh, in the research level menu item, you'll find your scout flies level, which determines their ability. The higher your scout flies level, the sooner your scout flies will pick up the next set of monster tracks. Okay. Always be leveling up. What I've learned. Try hard, will you? Okay. Uh, bring back gods. No, the goods. Don't let them. Don't let me down. So what is it? Okay, level one. Cool. Weak against... I think fire? Weak point. It's head. It's belly. Cool. Ah, oh, okay. Alright. Making sense. Figuring it out. Now we're in Astera. If you want to go on an expedition, open your world map and choose your destination. For this expedition, we need to head to the ancient forest. We can expand expeditions as we delve further into the new world. Pretty good incentive to explore, right? Cool. Okay, so find the campsite in the ancient forest. Okay, that's... Gotta go talk to... Officer and... The mouse killer cat. That thing is... OCD to the max. How are you feeling? So, Hunter, have you gotten used to how things work around here? New world, new rules, it's something you have to get used to. 
She will get used to it. You have to. Your life's counting on it. Not to mention others as well. Look around you, everyone here. Strange or crazy as they may seem, they're all, all across the sea, just like you. And they've all carried out their duties. They looked the new world in the eye and realized the old way of doing things wouldn't cut it. Didn't stop them, though. They had conviction. You have conviction, Hunter? <laughs> you get to know your colleagues. Maybe some of that craziness will rub off on you. Alright. Go talk to the muscular cat. Okay. It's making sense. Fight monsters. Break parts. Capture monsters. Get other rewards. Oven roast. Oh, do I actually have to talk to him? Yes. Go. Hi, welcome to the canteen. The best place for you to boost your hunt. You're from the fifth, right? Well, let me clue you in which, uh, what the canteen is all about. Gains. Health. Damn you. Meowna. Whatever. Max. Gains. Go on and sit down over there at the counter, scrawny. When you're ready to get your pre-hunt on, let me know. Interested in bulking up the canteen with more ingredients? Now that's what I'm talking about. Take care of the quest, fungal flexin in the ancient forest, and that menu will be packed. Uh, more packed than a great Jagger's belly. Finish that one up and I'll be able to get my paws on the goods. Don't let me down. Okay. Is there still? Who else has a freaking... Oh, I guess I should. No, oh, that's everybody, right? Oh, my bad. Oh, my guild card. Oh, uh... Ooh, HR Hunter rank 41. That's what that was. Um, I really wish Snoopy was here. He could give me the lowdown on everything I need to do. Um, I'm pretty sure guilds are very important. Okay. Doing an expedition, which means I just walk right out of here. some water really quick we can depart in an expedition by selecting a destination from the world map without first accepting a quest unlike quest expeditions are very open-ended and are great if you want to freely explore the world expeditions have the following special characteristics there's no time limit you will not fail no matter how many times you faint there are no completion conditions or rewards but you will keep any materials you gather and points you earn monsters will depart the field after a set time elapses you can decide when to return from an expedition. Once you're done exploring, return by doing the following. Speak to a handler at the camp. Select return from expedition from the menu. Select a stair from the world map. When you return to the camp after completing a quest, you will automatically switch to an expedition. If you then accept a new quest from your handler, it will take less time to prepare for that quest, provided that the new quest takes place in the same locale. Okay. Let's look for so the campsite. Pretty much like free roam. If I get to the campsite first, or if you're lost, open up your map or use your scout flies to track me. Ah. <sighs> okay. Whenever you leave the base without signing up for a quest, you'll go on an expedition. Need a time water. limit or cap on how many times you're allowed to faint, which means you can explore to your heart's content. Did he really just repeat everything I read? Okay. Like I always say, research is neat, but first we eat. You have a barbecue pit? Uh, no, spit. Yeah, spit handy. Had to make sure. To... Just grill some raw meat up, golden brown, and it'll raise your stamina level. It be to take the meat off the flame. Remember, keep an eye on it. Don't let it burn. 
to be able to get some raw meat from hunting uh Aptanoth. Okay, in multiplayer you can enjoy quests and expeditions in a team of up to four players formed from the maximum 16 player pre uh, present players present in the online session. God, I can't read right now. Players in the same online session can communicate via chat regardless of their locations. Many quests can be joined while in progress. Expeditions are unlocked as you progress through the game. Multiplayer is not available during story-related expeditions. Uh, when choosing a quest, select post a new quest, then set the following options. Players, how many hunters do you wish to join the quest? If you wish to play solo, set this number to one. Okay, I gotta remember to do that. I can set a passcode. Use four numbers to restrict the quest to players. Like join a quest to participate in a quest or expedition initiated by another player. In doing so, we'll send the quest leader a join request so that they can approve you. Join requests are set to auto accept by default. To change this, select the quest join settings from options and set join request to manual. Okay, that's important. I have to do that. Expeditions are not listed at the quest counter unless a SOS flare has been used. If no one in your online session is recruiting for the quest you want, you can select online sessions to move to a new session to try again. Many quests and expeditions can be joined while in progress. However, if you join a quest in progress after a set time has passed since it was begun, you will not receive credit for completing the quest and you will not earn quest rewards. Please keep this in mind when joining quests. You will still retain any items carved from monsters or gathered while in the quest. Rewards for breaking monster parts or capturing monsters will still be earned as long as the relevant conditions are met. Okay, so... That's the important thing. Join... Right away. Okay, but I gotta, I gotta remember to change this to manual. Okay, uh, change this, select quest, point settings from the options, that join request to manual. Request join settings, manual. Do that right now. Oh, can I not do it now? My. Okay. I guess only if I'm in a. Hold on. Interesting. Oh, I gotta learn the whole layout. Damn island. Uh. <laughs> Artemis shampoo. Where are these? Tr oh, here are the tracks. So getting the tracks is good. That boosts up my research for ecological research team as a whole, and it increases my, I guess, my knowledge of the of the monster itself. Who is this? Linian researcher. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm a researcher with the commission. My field is the uh, uh, Grimalakin. Yeah, Grimalakness. Yes, Grimalakness. Grimalakness are a type of uh, Linian, and they are native to the New World. I wish to communicate with them and learn their lingo. These crank bones just can't keep up with the uh, flingy little chaps. Perhaps you could be of help. By my gnarly knuckles, if we could chase after them, we track them down in a time it takes to say, meow. What do you say? You'd be doing an old man a favor.